Hey, it's Rachel Greninger with Red Carpet Report, and tonight we're at Trevor Live in Hollywood. Hi, my name is Rachel. How are you? I'm Lawrence Zarian, and sorry, coming... let me shake your hand. Oh, hi there. Hi, hi, I'm nice Lawrence, to meet you. That's my twin brother. Hello, Gregory. how are you? Hi, good to meet Pleasure. you. I'm Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Um, you both look amazing. Thank a little you. John Varvatos head to toe. Honestly, a you you Kirk. look you seriously. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See this dirt off the shoulder right here. Boom. Excuse me, real quick. Thank you. Yeah, hold on. You step aside. Boom. That Effortless. Effortless. It's effortless. Yeah. Okay, you also both look like Joe Magdanello. Well, we get that almost, well, if you're going to look like anybody, wouldn't you love to look like Joe Magdanello? I know, I literally was like, are there two, what's happening? It's the best day of my life. So hey, I'm Sophia, I think you made the wrong choice. <laughs> Instead of one, you could have two. And we're Armenian, Sophia. So there. We know you like your Armenian. So there. <laughs> Hopefully she's going to see that. That would be great. So what is it about this event that really... You know, obviously you guys are super busy. Like, what is it about this event specifically that makes you carve time out of your schedule to be here? Marion Williamson said this so many years ago, and we both apply this to our lives. If we don't heal our youth now, we can't hate them and the, we can't blame them in the future when they hate us. We have to take care of our youth. And the Trevor Project is a phone call away. Lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, Q. You will never have to be alone and suffer on your own ever again, ever. It's a phone call away. Your lifeline is a phone call away with the Trevor Project, our favorite, favorite charity that we support every year and throughout the year. And one thing that Lauren said though that is really important is just to remember you don't have to be alone. If you are by yourself in your room, get on your computer, Google, say help, search. There's somebody else that could be in a house right next door to you that is suffering. And we apologize as adults for who we are, the suffering that we go through when we're teenagers. Yeah. We forget to breathe and we get scared, we panic. Our big thing is just take a deep breath, pause, breathe. You then shift the moment and then you can finally reach out to somebody and say, hey, I need some help. There was definitely a time in my life where I remember sitting and I remember thinking, I can't get through the next hour, but I can get through the next minute. Minute, um, minute. Absolutely, minute by minute. So what what kind of struggles did either of you deal with with bullying at all? Maybe not just for LBGT uh, well, we like were, at all, we were, but... We were both bullied growing up. And I think every single kid gets bullied. So I don't yeah. think it's, you know, it's it's so universal. Yeah. Somehow along the way, every, every kid's going to walk away from their childhood and there's going to be a scar. Right. So, you know, we, we all, everybody has their shit. Yeah. The thing that we had, though, was we had each other, number one. So we were never alone, seven minutes apart. The thing that's different now is years ago, all you had was a TV with 13 channels. The internet will save your life. Where you live, the community you're in, there are little pockets of people that are struggling just like you. Pick up the phone, call the Trevor Project, no matter what you're struggling with, and never be alone again. You will have hope. That's. That's the number one key that we can walk away with, that we can share. And one thing that I want to say is cool is go up to the person that's not super popular. That's very cool. Go up to someone that may be by themselves and talk to them because that may end up being your very best friend for life. And something that might save their life. Yeah. And who, excuse my language, I'm going to just say it. No, please do, because I'm, I'm, I'm say saying this. the fuck word all the time on Ooh. here. Yeah, fuck that. If I could go back and do my childhood again, the one thing that I would do differently is not give a fuck about what so many other people think. think. And now with Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, know, yeah. you see the competition in the world. Don't compare yourself to anybody else. Be unique. Since I'm in the fashion business, yes. somebody asked me uh, a couple weeks ago who my favorite designer was. And I said, my favorite designer is God. <laughs> Everybody is unique and designed individually and uniquely. There's no two alike. Why try to be somebody else when you are amazing on your own? I really, I completely agree with that. I feel like when we are really our authentic selves, it creates a solidarity and gives people the opportunity to be themselves all the time too. And we also don't apologize. Exactly. We, want, we want to be something that we're not. Celebrate who you are, the good, bad, the indifferent, the color, the size, the shape, the everything. What's makes, what makes you different is what makes you special. That's exactly what I was going to say. You're Thank amazing. You God. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate God bless you. Oh, and one thing I want to say is too, um, Go up and give hugs. Hugs are free, and so is love. So we're gonna hug. Yeah. Oh, thank, you guys. thank you guys so much. Thank you. Yeah, bye guys. Hey, thanks for watching, and if you like what you've seen, go ahead and hit like, subscribe, and in the comments below, tell me what you're an advocate for.